Hey, hello, friends. Welcome again to another uh, uh, session on polynomials. And um, in the last few sessions, we have been seeing how to find out alternate methods of multiplication and division. Continuing with that trend today, in this session, we are going to discuss synthetic division of polynomials by linear polynomials, right? So this is a specific case where we have been given a very big polynomial large expression and we have to divide it by x plus 2 and find quotient and remainder so please remember this particular division method works only with when the divisor is linear okay so you can see this is linear y because the power is 1 here so this is a linear divisor and uh, dividend could be anything and we will now learn how to quickly do it within no time right okay so as we have been seeing in all these cases you have to first ensure that the the polynomial is complete right that means all the powers of uh, polynomials are there and then you have to detach the coefficient now if you look closely here there is no x cube so hence the complete polynomial would be 3 to the power 3x6 minus 7x to power 5 plus 5x to the power 4 minus 0x cubed minus x squared minus 6x or this could be plus 0x cube as well minus 6x minus 8 okay so this is what is the complete polynomial so once that is done you simply write all the detached coefficients so in this case it is 3 then space out minus 7 then 5 then 0 then minus 1 minus 6 and finally minus 8 okay then what you need to do is now look at the divisor so x plus 2 express this as x minus minus 2 so it has to be expressed as expressed in x minus alpha form x minus alpha form right so it is x plus 2 so i can say x minus minus 2 right if it was x minus 1 so there you don't need to do anything it is x minus 1 directly right if, you, if the divisor was x minus 1 since it is x plus 2 so i have to write x minus minus 2 and then take this minus 2 here and draw a line okay so this is this is how you have to begin now how to find out or how to go about this division what you need to do is you simply write this three down here first no nothing right three down now what you take and divide this or oh, sorry multiply this minus two times three what is it you'll get uh, minus six write that minus six here okay and then add the column what will you get you'll get minus 13 isn't it then again what take minus 2 and multiply minus 13 with it what is it 26 where will you write here okay add the column you'll get 31 isn't it then what take minus 2 multiply this 31 what is it minus 62 where will you write here minus 62 okay then what add the column add so minus 62 then what again repeat the process go to this minus 2 times minus 62 is 1 2 4 where where will you write it here 1 2 4 add to add this column you'll get minus or sorry 1 2 3 is it then what again minus 2 and multiplied by this 123 value is minus 246 write this here okay now add this column what will you get minus 252 correct then one more time take this and then multiply what will you get 504 right 504 and then add the column what will you get you will get 496 correct 496 so hence the last term is the remainder this is the remainder and now what is the quotient quotient is simply now attach the coefficients back so minus 252 will be the constant term 123x minus 62x squared then 31x cubed minus 13x to the power 4 and 3x to the power 5 this is your quotient remainder is 496 got it this is called synthetic division so you can do it mentally also if you have a lot of practice done 
right so this is called synthetic division i will take one more example to show you this how to divide let's say you have 5x to the power 5 minus 7x cube okay then you have 6x squared let's say then you have minus 2x and let's say then you have 4 and you have to divide this by by x minus 1 simpler one right so it's already in x minus a alpha form so what you need to do i will quickly write one because that's my you know factor here to be used and then complete polynomial all coefficients so 5 then x4 coefficient is missing so write 0 then minus 7 then 6 then minus 2 and then 4 and start how to start you simply write this 5 here then 1 times 5 is 5 write it here okay and add you'll get 5 then again 1 times this 5 how much 5 write it here 5 so what is if you add you'll get minus 2 isn't it then what uh, then 1 times minus 2 is how much minus 2 add 4 then I'm not drawing any arrows further so 1 into 4 is 4 so 2 and then 1 into 2 is 2 so hence 6 so you got the remainder remainder is 6 and your uh, uh, quotient is 2 4x then minus 2x squared just attach the coefficient back x cubed and then 5x4 done so this is the quotient 5x to the power 4 plus 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 and the remainder is 6 so can you see how quickly you could do this division this process is called synthetic division